Dictionary defines soil as the upper layer of earth in which plants grow in. This is a medium that typically consists of organic debris and clay and mineral particles. But there's also another component to soil, one that is essential for life. Humus is a unique part of topsoil. Mainly found in the top 10 to 30 centimetres, humus acts like soil glue, binding particles together and preventing them from washing or blowing away. The formation of humus is one of the least understood aspects of soil chemistry, but is also one of the most intriguing. The trouble with humus is that it's not just one specific compound with a defined chemical formula. There are various theories for the formation of humic substances, all of which are fairly complex. But what we do know is that it starts its life as this stuff, organic matter. With the help of microbes, organic matter, which is comprised of molecules such as lignin and carbohydrates, is broken down into simple molecules. Once the microbial feasting has stopped, the remaining simple molecules that cannot be broken down combine together to form chains of organic polymers, and this leads to the initial stages of humus. Humus is also invaluable for its soil buffering properties and its ability to really shape and engineer soil structure. It's able to absorb certain toxic elements and hold on to nutrients and water, but these are only a few of the beneficial influences it has upon the soil. If you look closely at a humus molecule, you can see that it is spongy in nature. This allows it to hold on to an incredible amount of water and nutrients and makes soil containing humus far more resistant to drought and leaching than soils without it. Humus is incredibly stable and long-lasting, some compounds lasting for thousands of years in undisturbed soil, but it's also easily lost. Every time the soil is dug or broken up, humus is lost and this cannot be easily replaced by a nutrient substitute. This is why many of our soils are degraded and actually have a lack of this soil superfood. Humic acids are extremely good at transporting a whole spectrum of nutrients from the soil to the plant because they are able to hold on to these nutrients, preventing them from leaching out. This is in contrast to mineral fertilisers, which only provide a limited range of nutrients, most of which end up leaching out, never actually reaching the plant. Given its unique, almost magical soil enhancing properties, it seems obvious that in order to obtain healthy functioning soil, we first need to incorporate humus into the soil. But how do we go about doing this? Well, the first step is to get organic matter into the soil. Mulching is a great way to do this. Organic matter is the raw building blocks of humus and also helps to protect biology within the soil, which is vital for helping to break it down. A good way to protect soil microbes and the humic compounds is by only digging the soil when you absolutely have to. The formation of humus is a remarkable process. The thin layer of earth, the layer we know as topsoil, plays a vital role in nourishing human civilization. You could argue that in the top 12 inches of soil alone rests the destiny of our species.